For centuries, we have looked to the heavens, fascinated by the possibility of life beyond Earth. But what if our search is limited not by the technology we possess, but by the assumptions we make about life itself? What if the key to unlocking this cosmic mystery is hidden in plain sight, in a substance so common but so overlooked? Imagine a world where rivers flow not with water, but with pungent smelling liquid. A place where the building blocks of life are not carbon molecules floating in water, but complex structures thriving in a sea of ammonia. It sounds like science fiction, but scientists are taking the concept of the existence of ammonia-based life from more and more seriously. Ever since telescopes reached the stars, humanity has been consumed with the search for life beyond Earth. We've sent rovers to Mars, probes to Venus, and even peered into the icy oceans of Jupiter's satellite Europa. But all these efforts have been guided by a single assumption. Life, wherever it exists, must be something like eucarbon-based and dependent on water. This is where the concept of the Goldilocks zone comes into play. This is a neither too hot nor too cold region around a star where conditions are just right for liquid water to exist. For decades, this zone has been the center of our extraterrestrial search, the celestial point where we believe life is most likely to thrive. From the Viking landing modules on Mars to the Voyager probes traveling beyond our solar system, the hunt for extraterrestrial life has been a hunt for Earth-like conditions. We look for planets with atmospheres similar to our own, signs of water or ice, and even certain gases such as methane, mean and oxygen that might indicate biological activity. But what if this geocentric approach has narrowed our vision? What if, in our search for a mirror of our world, we've overlooked vast expanses, where life might exist, but in forms radically different from our own? It's a humbling thought that challenges the very structure of astrobiology. After all, if life can exist without water, then the Goldilocks zone is not the only area in the cosmic real estate market where life can settle. And that brings us to ammonia, a molecule that has long been relegated to the background, but is now taking center stage in a potentially game-changing way. In our search for life beyond Earth, did you know that ammonia, compound you might associate with cleaning products, has a lower freezing point than water, enabling life in extremely cold conditions? Or that ammonia can dissolve a wide range of organic compounds, potentially serving as a medium for various types of biochemical processes? When we think of life, we often envision Earth's blue-green tapestry forests teeming with wildlife and oceans filled with a multitude of marine life. But what if there are shades in the palette of life that we haven't even realized? What if, beyond the azure oceans and emerald forests, there are worlds where life thrives in a golden sea of liquid ammonia? So, venturing beyond the familiar territories of carbon and water, we encounter a molecule that has long been in the shadow of astrobiology, ammonia. This humble molecule, composed of just one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms, may hold the key to a life form quite different from our geocentric definitions. At first glance, ammonia seems an unlikely candidate for life support. After all, we're used to thinking of it as a caustic gas, a household cleaner, or an industrial chemical. But when we delve deep into its chemical properties, a different picture emerges. Like Wavel, Ammonia is a polar molecule capable of dissolving a wide range of substances. It can act as a solvent, facilitating complex biochemical reactions, just as water does on Earth. However, ammonia operates under different rules. It has a lower boiling point and a lower freezing point than water. This means that life based on ammonia will exist at temperatures much lower than any earthly organism can tolerate. Imagine a world where the Average temperature is well below freezing, but life thrives in oceans of liquid ammonia. Such a world would not only have a different biochemistry, but also a different color palette. The sky may have shades of orange and red, and the seas may shimmer, with hues of gold or bronze every different from the blue and green landscapes we associate with habitability. And just as there is a water cycle on Earth, 
an ammonia-based world will have its ammonia cycle, complete with ammonia clouds, ammonia rain, and perhaps even ammonia snow. This active cycle would be essential for any potential life forms, providing a dynamic environment for development. If life can exist in Earth's extreme environments, from acidic lakes to deep sea hydrothermal vents, why not? In the ammonia rich landscape of distant exoplanet, this possibility has the potential to rewrite textbooks and push the boundaries of life as we know it. As we delve deeper into the realm of alternative biochemistry, it's critical to distinguish between two key components of life, carbon and water. While both are essential for life on Earth, their roles are distinct, and understanding this difference is crucial when we consider the possibilities of ammonia-based life. First, let's talk about carbon. Carbon is the basis of all known life forms, a versatile element capable of forming complex, stable structures such as proteins, lipids, and DNA. Its ability to form four bonds makes it uniquely suited to create the complex molecules that are the building blocks of life. Now, let us consider water. Water acts as the stage on which the drama of life unfolds. It is a solvent that facilitates biochemical reactions, allowing molecules to meet, interact, and transform. In essence, if carbon is the actor, water is the theater itself. So what happens if we replace one of these key players? Replacing carbon would mean rethinking the very building blocks of life. A feat that seems almost insurmountable given carbon's unique properties. But what happens if we replace water with ammonia? That's a different story. Ammonia can also act as a solvent, albeit in a colder temperature range offering an alternative step in the biochemistry of life. As with water, the polarity of ammonia allows it to dissolve various substances, making it an acceptable alternative for facilitating biochemical reactions. However, because of the lower temperatures, reactions are likely to be slower, potentially leading to life forms with a slower metabolic rate. In an ammonia-based world, cells may have membranes composed of lipids stable in ammonia and enzymes that catalyze reactions in this alternative solvent. The genetic material may still be similar to DNA or RNA, but adapted to an ammonia-rich environment. So, when we ponder the possibilities of life beyond Earth, the question is not only where to look, but what to look for. Let's delve into the biochemistry of an ammonia-based life form. In such an organism, the role of water as a solvent would be replaced by ammonia. What about the biochemical reactions themselves? Can the enzymes and proteins that facilitate life processes in aquatic organisms adapt to an ammonia-rich environment? The answer is staggeringly possible. Enzymes, biological catalysts, may have evolved to function at lower temperatures and in the unique chemical environment provided by ammonia. These enzymes may be composed of amino acids stable in ammonia, allowing metabolic processes to occur, albeit at a slower rate due to the colder conditions. But what would these life forms look like in an ammonia-based world? We might find organisms with biochemistry and physiology radically different from our own. Imagine creatures with flexible, elastic skeletons adapted to lower gravity and lower temperatures or plants that use a different pigment for photosynthesis, absorbing and using light more efficiently. For example, a pigment that absorbs blue or violet light may be more efficient. If a planet orbits a star that emits light predominantly in those wavelengths, in designing future space missions, these considerations could be critical. Instruments capable of detecting not only water and oxygen, but also ammonia and other biosignatures would expand our search parameters and allow us to explore these exotic possibilities. The implications of ammonia-based life go far beyond scientific curiosity. They could fundamentally alter our approach to the search for extraterrestrial life by changing the strategies and technologies we use in this great cosmic quest. So far, the parameters of our search have been strongly influenced by our geocentric perspective. 
We've aimed our telescopes and sent probes to places where we expect to find Earth-like conditions. But if ammonia-based life is possible, then our search field expands exponentially. This means rethinking mission objectives and scientific instruments. Future space probes may have to carry detectors sensitive to ammonia and other non-aqueous solvents. Spectrometers may have to be calibrated to look for unique spectral characteristics of ammonia-based biomoleculars. Imagine a new generation of Mars rovers designed to probe the icy satellites of Jupiter and Saturn. Not only for water, but for pockets of liquid ammonia. Or orbiters equipped with advanced sensors that can analyze the atmospheres of exoplanets. In search of chemical imbalances that might indicate ammonia-based biological activity, the discovery of even ammonia-based microbial life would be a revolutionary event that would leave a lasting impression on the world and change our philosophical and ethical foundations. How would such a discovery affect our understanding of the uniqueness and commonality of life in the universe? What ethical considerations might arise from interacting with or studying these alternative life forms? Education will also transform. Future biology textbooks may include chapters on alternative biochemistry, and astrobiology may become a standard part of educational programs, inspiring a new generation of scientists to think beyond Earth's limits. As we stand on the threshold of this new frontier, the implications of recognizing ammonia as a potential cornerstone of life are enormous. It broadens our horizons, challenges our assumptions, and opens up a universe full of possibilities that may start with a simple molecule but lead us to worlds beyond our wildest imagination.